Hi everyone and welcome to Voice with Julia. Today I'm going to talk about the difference and the benefits of mouth breathing versus nose breathing for singing. Voice with Julia, change your voice, change your lives. The subject has come up a lot lately this week. What is better? Is it better to be a mouth breather or is it better to breathe a nose breather when it comes to singing? Obviously in life, they recommend that you breathe in through your nose because it filters out dust and particles. And that's also a good reason why you might wanna consider breathing through the nose for singing. However, I really believe that whether you're gonna breathe through the mouth or the nose depends on where you are in your development. And I will say that in my studio, I rely on both kinds of breaths. And here is why. When you have somebody that's learning how to open the throat and release, sometimes it is actually helpful if you will have them breathe in through the mouth so that they can find the space within their throat. If you breathe in through the mouth, you can do a simple test on yourself. You can go, okay, and you could feel that expansiveness in your throat, okay, the muscles open. And that actually helps, especially when people are having trouble with throat constriction. Now, what are some of the downfalls of mouth breathing? Well, unfortunately, mouth breathing, if it's not done correctly, can promote tongue retraction. Look, if I breathe in, the tongue wants to depress and make that cavernous space, okay? So then if I go to sing, and it's caught, okay, because I'm pushing down the larynx. So what you're gonna have to figure out is if you do take a mouth breath, to keep that back of the tongue high, then you can onset cleanly. That is very important. Now, one other thing to be aware of when breathing in through the mouth is that it is actually drying on the vocal cords. So I would not suggest that you take a long, inhale like that on the stage before you're about to sing if you go because who knows what's gonna fly into your throat and that just ain't good in fact this reminds me of a funny story that i heard of a colleague who did just that breathed in on a stage while performing outdoors and a bug flew into her mouth so yeah okay something to consider why would we take a nose breath Nose breaths for me are very helpful when I'm about to sing a very complicated, high sustained phrase. And the reason is that when you breathe in through the nose, the larynx stays relaxed, okay? Because you're not pushing down and you're not pulling up. The tongue can remain relatively high and you're getting that feeling of filling up the body with air without constricting the throat. Because if you take a mouth breath and you make sound, that's actually throat constriction, believe it or not. Okay, now, certain types of throat constriction can be useful depending on the phrase that we're singing. So if we're singing, piangere, piangere, okay, fine, got it, that's, that's cool. However, when you're trying to do something nice and slow and beautiful, if you take a nose breath, that can be very helpful. So I like to think especially of this nose breath before I sing one of my favorite phrases in Kil Bel Sogno from the A to the C where you have to go breath let me tell you ladies and gents that is a lifesaver okay because at least for me and I do know anecdotally for a lot of other great singers that nose breath can keep everything relaxed because if we breathe in like this 
Who knows what's going to happen on that inhale? Did you depress the tongue? Did something get in the throat? Did the soft palate fall? A lot of things can happen on that mouth breath. So for those, what I call like, you know, scary kind of tightrope walking entrances, the nose breath is a lot safer and a lot surer of a bet. So my challenge to you, I want you to take your hardest phrase, okay? And I don't care if you're singing classical music or if you're singing rock, because this also is the same kind of thing. I want you to take this nose breath before your hard phrase. And I want you to feel how that changes the hardness of the phrase. So I'd love for you to leave a comment and let me know how this worked for you. And I invite you to subscribe to my mailing list, which the link is below, and to join my premier Facebook community, Technique Talks for Singers, in which we have lively discussions, there'll be videos, and a lot of other resources for you to go down the rabbit hole with. So I hope you'll come and join us. Thank you all so much for watching and have a beautiful day.